today I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the September Faith Art Box from Creative Retreat Kids. And I only cut the tape off of it just so I didn't risk slicing my fingers open in the process on camera. But I haven't opened it yet. I have seen some pictures online, but I haven't seen it in real time and in real life. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and see what it speaks to me. I'm going to share it with you and show it to you. And then we'll do a quick project just based upon what speaks to me. What's the first thing that comes to mind? So I'm going to do the unboxing. Let's get started. This is, again, the September Faith Art Box. It is the monthly kit that you can either order um, each month, but if you get a subscription, then you get, I think it's a 10% discount, and then there's also a special that is available that only comes in the Faith Art Box, the monthly subscription. So let's see what's in here. Oh, oh my goodness, look at those cute bows, the pink polka dots, pink and green that is my happy place pink and green together and then pink polka dots you can't get cuter than that in my opinion okay so i just love those bow clips and then the creative retreat stamps are awesome they just they are so clean and crisp and then they're so versatile so look at these words lord god wonder all hope grace and love of so these are things that you can blend and mix and match so um, then there's this arrow with a heart. There's this swirl that you can combine. It can either go under the words or it can be an extension of this vine. And then this is a leaf. Um, so that's going to be a very versatile stamp set. I can't wait to use that. Okay, so here are some stickers. Oh, but oh my goodness. Look at the alpha stamps these are pink which again is so uh, me I love pink that's just my thing but they are very uh, what I love about them is there quite a few of them on here let's see you've got four E's these are um, a good block set kind of a kind of like a sport look um, almost like a stencil look to it so those are cute. Okay, these are the stickers. Lots of those hearts. I love those hearts. And um, some just banners, a tab that says love. And then these stickers say praise, righteous, on my heart, Jesus, wisdom, love, beautiful, trust, name, you, worship, again, the calling and strength. What I love about these is all the different font types that are on here. And I love mixing and matching font types because it's just uh, pleasing to the eye. It gives some variety and, and texture and dimension to a page. So I really like those. And then it's got some of these flowers and again, those arrows. So it pulls in some of the elements from the stamp set. Yeah, some of the same words, but then um, some of them are different, but they could certainly coordinate. So that's good. And then here is a devotional. So that's really neat. That's, that's new um, this month. So it's got a devotional by Mag Mag and me. And it's got, um, let's see, five different sections. And it's got some verses and some questions and prompts. These little hearts that if you wanted to cut out, but then you're going to be cutting out the text. Um, but you could cut these out. What I might do is just run a, a copy of it so that I have the text on here, the words. But then I could cut these elements out if I wanted to and use them. Because look at these cute hearts. And then those are really cute. It says, showing love. So it's all about showing love. Spend, time, spend your time with someone who needs it. Write a love letter. Cook a meal for someone. Call someone just to catch up. And the theme is, this is my commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. Oh, this is a good theme. 
show a gentle touch. This is going to be powerful. So what a great set. What a great set. So I'm going to um, pull some products together, get my supplies together, and I'm going to stop the camera as I gather those things, and then we'll do a project together. Okay, see you in a minute. Hey everybody, I'm back. So I've gathered my supplies. I actually did have to stop to eat. And we're working in Romans 8, 38 and 39, where it says, For I'm sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Since this kit focuses on the love, that's what I'm focusing on too. And right now I'm really having to focus on the love of God and how He is with me. So we're using just the kit elements, the materials in the kit, and I pulled out this small tiny little block stamp set from the Michaels Dollar bin and maybe a Distress Ink, we'll see. I'm using the watercolors from Illustrated Faith to use as a background. And let's get started. I'm spritzing the black and the green, the Verde green, and using my watercolor brush that came with the, the Illustrated Faith watercolor kit just to give me a background because that kind of pulls in that same uh, light sage color. And then I highlighted also the verse and I hit that with a water gun. I could wait for it to dry, but I'm not patient. I just want to get going. Now these letters, I'm sticking them first on my Bible mat so I can see where I want to place them. And these letters are very thin, so you want to be careful with them. This is kind of a typeface, and I love this um, font, but you do have to be careful. They are real thin. And I decide, since they won't reach, um, they won't fit in the margin all across, that I'm going to split the word up into no thing, because that's really what nothing means is no thing. No thing can separate us from the love of God. I will put a hyphen in there, but I'm just fixing that. These letters are, um, they are a little tricky, but I love the way they look. So I'm going to hand letter no thing can, and now I'm going to use these letters, these stamps to stamp separate. And I'm going to do it on some just spare card stock first, just to get a feel for how they're going to work. And it's hard to line these up because of the way they're placed on the actual blocks. So I'm going to go for a wonky kind of um, a crooked look. And now I'm actually placing them on this banner on the one of the stickers. And notice how there's a little space on the side. And so I'm going to trim that off and then just push that edge in. So nothing can separate. And now I'm going to, oh, you can see me masking the exclamation point on the stamp. And I write from the. And then I realize, oh no, nothing can separate from thee. I forgot the word, nothing can separate us. So now I've got to fix it. So what am I going to do? I can cut out what I stamped on the cardstock. So I'm going to do that, but it doesn't cover it all. So uh, what should I do? What should I do? This is where washi tape comes in handy. I'm just going to cover that up, um, put a few layers of that, and trim that off the edge. Now it still shows through, but now I can place that, I, what I cut from the cardstock, place that over it. And then here's where I pull some of the hearts. And look, you can't even see what that is. And that's actually quite cute. I like how that worked. Ah, see, it's usually these serendipitous things happen because of um, accidents. That's how penicillin was developed. So um, I really like how this turned out. So again, I masked the exclamation point so I could just get love. I just used a little bit of washi tape and covered up the exclamation point. So nothing can separate you. I put the word you because I had that as one of the stickers. And I stamped of God onto one of those banners. So that's all the words. So now I'm just using um, some of the little stickers. And I boxed the verse to highlight it a little bit more. I'm going over. I was going to highlight... Um, all the letters by blocking them out, by outlining them, but I didn't like the way that looked. It was just too thick. The pen I used was uh, too fat. It was too much of a point. Although it's a point three, I don't like that. So I pulled off the no and I'm covering it up again with your washi tape, but it does show through. So I put a piece of white cardstock. And now because a little bit of that black was still on the outline there, that's more of the look. It just gave a little bit more. It emphasized the no. 
So that's what I want. So you can see two fixes here with a washi tape from two mistakes, but that's good. I, you can also see that I did some splatter paint. So um, thanks for joining me today. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. Join me again. Um, share the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.